Welcome back, welcome back. Hit y'all with a little quote. Some people don't realize how hard you ride for them until you park. Lag out. We already here too, y'all. I just traveled here. I was doing a whole bunch of different um, missions while I wasn't recording. I mean, not missions, well, I did one. It's a side mission. Other than that, we here. We got the, uh, I forgot what you, what you call that weapon. The Lazarus. So we gotta give it to this guy. Explain some shit, but I wanna try um, the blunt weapons. I'm gonna buy one of those. This has to get game of the year, y'all. This has to get game of the year. There's no way around it. The pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's 10 or something. She didn't kill him, just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there. And I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me? Or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Mm, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. Let's ask them. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. Wow. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy then you found the sick fuck who killed lucas got it i'll head out right now yeah still not there all right yeah let's go to this uh citizen you can't linger here if you need help check in with the dispatch officer i think they're outside though still alive worried about me are you I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me 
outside. I don't really want to talk to him yet. I want to go to like the. Uh... I want to yeah. I want to go to the stores and uh crafts the craftsman, craft master, whatever the fuck you call it. This your stuff, buddy. Wait a minute. Where's the other dude? I think he's down here. But I think I got something though. Let's sell all this real quick. What's this like? Oh, this is trash, bro. Let's sell this though. You know what? Let's get all the ones out of here. This, he gave me this shit? I'm going to hold on to this, though. I don't, I don't really like this. This right here is like... Uh, like to me, it don't hit hard. Like, let's get that out of here. All right, we got that. that okay. So what we're going to do is... But you ain't got shit, B. Look what you got. You ain't got shit. You know what I want to do? I want to upgrade some stuff. Let's talk to her. Now this right here, right? I want to do some shit with that. Oh, we already we already did upgrade it a little bit. They need ten of those shits. We really got to kill a lot of people. You feel me? I don't really got no blunt weapon right now, so I don't really want to. Look, that's just crazy how much shit you gotta use uh to upgrade this shit, man. We need to play more um so we need to buy that too for the tip, like let's get that. Let's buy this too. This toughness booster, like, I'm not really into that right now. Be afraid. Ah, yeah, let's go. So right now we're going back to the bazaar. But you know damn well we're gonna run into some shit. Yeah, I know we're gonna run into some shit. Hold up. Oh, he's right here. I don't even know. He wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. I still don't like trust her. And look, we still got the only way out missions. Citizen, you can't linger here. If you need help, check in with the dispatcher. I don't care. I I was looking for a blunt weapon, but it's like none. Um.
Let's see right now. What we got up here? We need to get this out of here for a minute. I should have sold it when I had the chance. Let's fuck with this. Thanks for views and likes, y'all. I appreciate it. Like I said before, first time here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. They ain't throwing nothing at me right now. Damn, he fucking them up, though. He laid them out on top of a flatbed. Stupid, bizarre jackholes. Don't mind if I do. Now, if this was Skyrim and you was doing this, it would attack the hell out of you. What we should do though, y'all, is uh we need to we need to uh get more of those where is that? Where is that? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We gotta go up top because I know there's more than one over here. What's this? There's some nighttime stuff. Let's go here. Why we ain't go here? Yeah, let's do this. Damn, this shit's heavy as fuck. You see? Damn! Yo, you know what's crazy? The um the controller, like the trigger. The trigger is heavy. When you pull it. God. Damn, you should be able to make your own character here. I mean, I I, I feel uh, Aiden, but I think you should be able to make your own character. I think that should be hot. Let's go through here. We ain't gotta climb up nothing. Oh, we in here? All right, so this should be like way like what's the uh what's the damage on this motherfucker? Like thirty something. Tell by the way I was hitting these motherfuckers. Look. Look at that shit. Hit two of them motherfuckers with that shit. What you? Should be smacking this shit out. Look, that shit. Th shit threw his eye. God damn. I hit three of them motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh, he knocked me down with that shit. Right, I don't got no problem with that bitch. Come on. Oh shit, I done ran into that shit, y'all. Wait, I gotta get away from me, bro. I'm trying to win over here. Damn, y'all. Like, I'm not even talking because it's like. This is real right here. Oh shit. I dodged the hell out of their ass. Fuck it, right? Boom. Damn, I missed that shit. Fast motherfuckers coming, y'all. Get your bitch ass out of here. Alright, we need to get away from the fast motherfuckers. 
your dumb ass out of here. Come on. I need something where I can run on their heads or some shit, you feel me? Oh shit, when he got that? Oh my god. Why this shit got me all dizzy and shit? Did I take the wrong shit? What the fuck going on with me, bro? What 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 the fuck was that? Drop his ass, bro. Mm, bitch. Mm. Mm, bitch. Yeah. Yo, we need some help. Like, what the fuck? And, like, and I was there and I ain't get no help. We ain't gotta worry about it. I mean, we got hurt though, because this shit about to start blowing up for no reason. Where the fuck did they come from? Shit about to blow up, y'all. I'm just trying to get what's mine, you feel me? Now oh, come off that. This shit. Hurry up, man. Alright, we got that. Now we gotta get in here. Alright. Come on, bro. What y'all doing? Pop this out. I got seven. Seven left. We good. That's it. Ah, oh, you see what I'm saying? Oh! You better think about it, bitch. Yo, what the? My health low as shit, yo. I'm trying to just do what I gotta do. Oh, they spotted me. Hmm, bitch. Nah, these blunt weapons. 
Blood weapons are serious. Oh shit. Where are they coming from? Alright, we gotta hurry up, y'all. I'm thinking I had like, um... What? There's nothing in here. Can't be serious. They played me, y'all. It's all good. It's all good. I, I know I need help, though. What we on? Damn, we 21 in, y'all. See that shit right there? They played me. It's all good, though. I got some shoes from that. Let's get the fuck up out of here. Let's wait till it blow up again. Let's just pick everything up. Sun's gonna blow up in a few minutes. I could have swore with something else on this though. No. Ah, uh, we out, y'all. Yeah, fuck it. We're gonna go back to the bazaar. We're gonna get this health. Cause I ain't really buy nothing anyway. But these blunt weapons are serious. Once I want to try to put that other thing on it. What are you doing? I know I always gotta fucking help people and shit. Oh, wait a minute. I'm tripping, y'all. We can craft that shit. Look. Right here. Like, I'm bugging. I'm going to buy health and we can craft it. Like, that don't make any sense to me. Well, let me see. How do I do that shit? Okay, where is it? I don't remember that shit. I don't remember none of that. I just be playing. I got eleven of them shits. Fuck that shit up. Supposed to be somewhere over here. Whatever. We'll figure that shit out later. Let's go save whoever this is. I hope they don't kill him before I get down there. They should have better weapons over here too.
No, you're not, bitch. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, we gotta run. Oh, we definitely gotta run, y'all. <laughs> That's my hell. Oh, they came up here, look. Oh, shit. Yeah. I lose him? Or what the hell I knocked the other guy into? All right. Please, let me go. Bro, you all right? So I gotta kill these dudes. Kill these dudes, bro. They don't even know you're over here anymore. I think we level up, y'all. Hope you give me that big ass. Um, he gives me that. Like, I don't want that, bro. She had murdered. The way she yelled. I never believed in bank runners was real. Just fairy tales, if you ask me. You're Aiden, right? You saved my life. How can I repay you? Where is he? Watch out, bro. That's a trunk. I've always thought in every ending is a chance for a new beginning. Now's our chance, buddy. So this is the fast travel place. Word on the rooftops is that water stocks are almost depleted. Got bad season coming. I just want to see what it looks like down here. Like what? Yeah. Like, how do you fast travel down here? Oh, it must be from this thing. It has to be. It has to be from this thing. Yo, I don't even be using the coins. What was that? See that? Oh, it's loading the area. Yeah, that's what it's doing. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Bro, move, hey, bro. You're already a legend in the city, you know. What the fuck you standing by the door like that, B? Trying to get inside. Alex, what's going on? Damn. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. 
How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. This shit's weird, man. Because I was in here. Humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar simply because of where we live but who we are truly are free people free from lies free from money free from religion wars politics and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth that sounds great too good to be true in fact oh we have our challenges water is scarce for example but with courage and patience we will someday create a paradise well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police military or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect we have a place for everyone but let's get back to your stories is gossip all you want from me carl no but you came from outside and you're walking around my flock so to set things straight i need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf what are you then I, I don't know if I should put, um, I'm putting on like the metaphor because it's a setup. If I say I'm a sheep, he could, he could try to manipulate me. If I say I'm a wolf, he going to think I'm a threat. So I'm going to use this one. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Mm. I should say it's my own business, right? Because this guy knows his shit. That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, pilgrim. But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man, and we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, 
Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. Okay, so I don't trust him either. Apparently, you can't go through the tunnel either. Aider's keeping us prisoners in our own homes. Let me go back here again, y'all. I'm trying to see this real quick. I could have swore, um, what? I could have swore I upgraded that shit too. We should be getting ready for winter. Here we go. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. All right, so we ain't gonna look at it. We don't need to do all this. Let's do the transaction. Though. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers. And that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Okay, let's do that. Fine, I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Hmm. I want to kill him, though. Because he grabbed me by my fucking neck. I'm going to get you. All right, let's see. Why are they acting like I'm brand new here, though? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Looking for work by any chance? Well, you know. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Let's tell them the truth. Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners. And it's their business only. No one else is. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. They're gonna fucking wait today. All right, let's go over to this one, y'all. No time for delay after this ridiculous blockade at the center. Let's talk to this craft Back master real quick. I had a huge and massive. <laughs> A workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Completed. Got bad. I guarantee my prices. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Awful fox. They've already sent one of their f f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow, Sophie's brother. Huh? What 
What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, uh, Spit hundred... it out, man. <laughs> that... Can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Okay, yeah, we got some we got some new shit. Let me see something. What you got, bro? Shit, I didn't check the other guy for this shit. All right, we can go back. Oh, uh, let's see where we at. We on B41, y'all. Let's talk to this person. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Not a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? A job, dumbass. Now let's do information. Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for him. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. <sighs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say... Pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password, Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. So he has interest. you find I know the location but I was told your brother asked about it already Herman see if Barney turned on his radio Barney 
Answer me. Barney! Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <sighs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. I'll kill him! out, we're all gonna be fucked. PK and civilian alike. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. As I wake up at night, forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. But then I see the goddamn UV lights. Again. What's going on here? Hello, I'm Henkel. This student here was curious about my lesson today, about when the guns were confiscated in Villador, and what happened afterwards. He wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway, could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes. Take this candle and go to the monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today.
that a This bitch. here's a party. You are so You're the uh, bitch. You're a dead man. I've got you now, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Here I come. 